this next installment, we're going to show you how to actually construct a circuit from a sum of the products expression. The sum of the products expressions are used a lot in Boolean algebra expressions. They're used a lot in Carnot mapping topic. And so what I'm going to do is start it out here. And what's being referred to is actually a logic operation. So whenever you see the word sum, it's always going to be an OR function. And when you see products, it's referring to an AND operation. <coughs> so let me put up an expression here, and then we'll start drawing the circuit from the expression itself. So what we mean when we're talking about some of the products is we actually have to start out here first and then work back to this part. This being an AND operation, we're going to start out with our conventional two input AND gates here. And this AND gate is going to be ORed with another one. It's going to look like this. <coughs> so I'm going to put this one here. I'm going to put a second AND gate. And then assign them some variables. There's A and B, C and D, so that when we look at this, we're actually going to go A and B or, or sum with C and D. So as we're looking at the expression A and B, it's a quantity all by itself. It's going to be or, or it's going to be a sum of this other AND gate, which is products, called C and D here. A and B, ANDed, going to be ORed. So here's our output function. Remember, as in previous videos, this logic operator setting all by itself refers to the output gate. So OR, then, is going to be this function. It's going to be right there. The AND, A AND B is here. The C and D is this logic gate down below. A and B ORed with C and D. This point. 